In this game, I attempt to do a road strategy on a board that has tons of wheat, sheep, and ore. Let's see how it works out. First time playing the game. Can't tell whose p turn it is. I guess it's gotta be, yep. Purple. A lot of ore. Brick strong with the brick port. Um, this is gonna be taken first. So. I'm going to be third. I'll probably get stuck doing... Uh, if I do wood first, will I get wood and brick that strong? Uh, I might. Because this guy's going to go right here. Eat five ten, but then I'll get... If I don't take ore... Sheep is going to be difficult for me. But if you go here, definitely uh, the last guy's going to get would get this one and that one. And that would be pretty powerful because they'll have two ports and they'll be flying around. Hmm. What do I want to do here? <clears throat> now if I go here and take a little bit more wheat, slow this guy down, and if I go here, that leaves this open. I clog it up. If I go here, I think there's a good shot. They'll take this one and I'll get left that one. I doubt they would take this one because it just doesn't make sense to go along with this one over here. So I think I'm going to go here and bank on the fact that I'm going to get probably this one. And if not, my backup is this. So the Rare occasion where I'm going to be the oddball doing the wood and brick strategy and then use the ports. So it's either I'm going to get a little bit of sheep and I can try and go, whoa, didn't expect that. That's going to change my game. I guess I'll have to go here, but then I'm leaving, if I go here, it shuts down, it clogs this up, because then, no, then they have to come way over here. I think if I go to this one, then it slows everybody else down. Otherwise, if somebody else gets this one, let me see here, purple, they also need these two, and gray, yep, the same, but if I shut them down, and head towards A 
that's a defensive strategy right there because now I'm forcing them to either choose wood or brick There's our nice wood wooden brick spot here. Oh good. Left that open. And let's see, the last one is gonna be looks like it might be over here. Yeah, I'd be surprised. It wouldn't make any sense to go here. So I should be okay to get, and I could probably sneak down and get this one here. Depends on how good this brick comes in, or my woods. Purple, purple's got to be worried. Because if I take over there, if I take this away from them, they're screwed. So I'm going to jump right in here and quickly assess the setups. So if we take a look at purple, they have a super normal, just I'm going for city night strategy. Um, and they're going to be very strong. Their weak spots are going to be wheat. If you can get their four wheat blocked and they are highly dependent on making it to that six, three, um, three to one port. If they make it there, I think their game is pretty strong and they're going to be hard to stop. And that's really going to be up to me to sneak over and get that 3 to 1 port pretty quickly, which is very possible. And that's the advantage of being the road builder is that you can sneak in and really hurt people early on um, where they're unable, especially city night people where they're trying to extend, extend to their ports. Um, you can hurt them and really uh, hinder their game for the long haul. Uh, look at gray gray has also city night set up um, they actually they don't have any brick and they wasted a road heading in towards the middle of the island rather than heading out to the three to one port where the wheat is um, which would have been better for them so they still have the chance to go up to the 11 12 and get the sheep port but the sheep port is definitely not as strong for them as a three to one port would be um, I still see them as, you know, the, of course, anyone who's City Knight ha can have the potential to the win because you can just get whatever development cards and, you know, you'll get some some lucky lucky stuff and it's usually pretty sneaky. Um, and then if you assess Orange, Orange has all resources, uh, low wheat, which could hurt them if they're trying to um, get development cards, but it, they, they could be okay. Um, if they make it over to uh, to the three to one port, potentially the brick port um, down on their nine ten on the island. Um, but to be honest, um, my road setup uh, is actually uh, can be fairly strong. It depends on um, how they attack early on in the game and how I'm allowed to expand. If I'm able to expand quickly and they allow me to do it then um, I, I could move pretty quickly in this game but um, the early part of the game is definitely going to be very important for me if they see me as a way to grab um, brick or wood resources then I could be a target early so on. I got one wood right now I mean one brick nine is rolled I got a wood let's see if he tries to trade for wood I'm sure he will you're not robbed, clearly. Your turn. I'll go ahead and roll five. Get two more wheats. I'm going to go ahead and build this road. With the idea that if I get eight and then sixes and nines, they may try and slow me down, but good thing they'll be blocking my eight. My right, 
turn four. I can't do anything yet. Let's move on. Another brick. Everybody's getting wheat. He's got his settlement. Oh, he's gotten some perfect rolls. How did he already get his three? How did he get sheep? I haven't paid attention to the rolls that much. Oh, somebody lost. They're gonna steal from me. No, they're not. Oh yeah, they did. I got wheats. I got a dev card. That's the way to go, climbing top. Eleven. Six blocked. Guy's trying to get why would he steal from me? I have no wood with tons of brick. I don't know how they got their sheep. Somehow I missed it. So that's, just, that's what's going on. He's finally trying to trade. Do you want to trade? Um, no. with him. Dumb. I could have blocked it if I saved and used my road the other way. Finally have I got a city already. Ten. Now he's getting ores galore. Well, I'm definitely not going to be targeted. Pretty much willing to give up whatever. Let's see. How about one brick for one wheat? Oops. One brick for one wheat. And I don't have that. I just tried to trade for a sheep. Okay, I'll trade with bank for for sheep. It was a waste, but I got to. All right. That's the downside of going here, but ah, it's too bad he blocked this six. I would have loved to have that. I would have been, I could still potentially get, have gotten this zoom around. Hmm, so many sixes. All those blocks. City. The bad part about this high ore game is I'm falling way behind already. 
And it was an easy block. No sevens have rolled. Six again. Good grief. Uh. to be a laugher. I'm falling behind early. I can't get blocked out, but trading is going on here. Hey, a different number. Eight is rolled. I finally got my... So let's see if somebody actually will trade for my brick. Brick for the wheat. He's got lots of wheat over there. Okay. Well, I can take a wood port. not liking my chances right now though this is too strong and there's no sevens it's with sevens not rolling I'm I can't get out get it off me 12 he's got 11 cards he's gonna build another city oh what does he do yeah then there's his oh dev card okay I gotta gotta roll a seven it's just so far behind What in the world? Okay, dev card, dev, two dev cards. No dev cards, no dev cards, two dev cards. Great, and he's going to be protected. Okay. Move on. Okay, finally the seven is rolled. This guy's got to get rid. And he's going to get attacked. Let's see, it's Lorla. Wait, who rolled it? Jimson. So he's and then he's gonna play his knight. <coughs> he's trying to get two for one. I will trade some wars though. If I will get some wars if they provide it. Knight card played. Where does he go? Okay, that's what he should be doing. Night card bleed back to either the nine or the six, probably six. Okay. 
two weights, three ores. It's your turn. I'm so far behind. These guys are way ahead. I'm just gonna. Did anybody get sheep? Oh, see, he's the only one with sheep. Five. Nobody has sheep. Could have blocked this if I had gotten early enough. Nah. Let's see if they hold out long enough battling each other. So I'm look at longest road. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nothing. Oh, it's just rolled. It's a ten again. Good grief. And his turn. Eleven. It's another four. Oh man, I'm too far behind. This is a waste. I'm about to lose all my cards. dev cards he hasn't used he should use the knight already so he's got two probably victories hidden probably six points just can jump in to get that oh, I need to get longest road but I can't even do it I'm just not I'm so far behind <laughs> do that. Go to work.
something.
6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, let's trade this for this. about this for this but it wants wait to get out of here Road, I got rubbed. Scored resources. get my last settlement.
get some roads. They have Jim GG's. We got one or dev card. <laughs> dev card. Oh, good game. Nope. He didn't win it. That's hilarious. And he lost his resources. <laughs> uh, this is hilarious. some bricks he's giving up on the road let's go on a different route funny three he's gonna do undev yep he's giving up oh and look at that he got two bricks <laughs> uh, that's funny I got two bricks also. It's got a three to one port. You get six of those every time. Oh, if he gets road building, that would be a sneak. Oh, is it my turn? I guess so. Oh no. What did I just do? Son of a gun. Didn't mean to do that. Maybe he'll just win here. Road building. Where does he go? Oh, he goes right here and I could have almost got that. so far behind there that was hilarious six was rolled five times and it was blocked I think the whole time it was at the beginning of the game right I should have got last let's get out of here so as you can see road building strategy is uh, definitely a challenging one to win I tried to do it the best way that I see um, to win is where you connect it with road building and a port strategy um, but I really uh, I got blocked early on which uh, definitely hindered the early part of the game and the early part of the game is where I'm supposed to shine I'm supposed to be able to expand really rapidly um, so b getting blocked early on was was huge for me um, and by the time I was even making a push I was just in defense mode trying not to let purple win by overtaking the roads so at that point I pretty much already lost the game I lost the game pretty pretty early on after um Purple made it over to the 3-1 port and I was still stuck trying to get my own port so um, you know all in all if if you can do the road building strategy with good players who are paying attention to the game it actually still has merit for winning winning 
Um, the city night strategy with development cards is definitely the easiest because you can um, have such a swing in the game with hidden victory points, monopolies, you're in using year of plenties. Uh, it makes the game a little bit easier to win. Um, the road building strategy, in my opinion, has some fun uh, points to it in that you can um, use your expansion to block the the ex, uh, the development of um, the city night players, and that's really the only way to use it to win is by um, using it for defense. Um, as you can see in my setup, I tried to limit the ability of others to have access to brick and um, try and com completely control the access to wood. Uh, unfortunately, the backfiring of that is that you have the potential to be blocked more than you hope to, um, even though you're going to be slow to getting cities. So um, occasionally, occasionally it can work. Um, in this particular board, it wasn't the best move because there was there were just too many quick city building and development cards that you would f you fall behind too quickly in this scenario. So. Um, fun to try and we'll learn and move forward.